So now we'll work on problem eight from chapter one. Here we're given three images, three targets uh, from a rifle range. And we are told that uh, target A came from the instructor firing a newly acquired target rifle. Uh, B was the instructor firing his personal target rifle, and C was a student who has fired his target rifle only a few times. So let's go ahead and reproduce these three figures here, roughly. So we can go ahead and draw our bullseye, and then we can put our targets uh, in another color, or our hits. We have something like that. Then for B, we're given another target, which looks something like this. And then for C, we're given something that looks like this. So now they ask us two questions. The first is to comment on the accuracy and precision for each of these results. So let's, this is part A here. So for A, target A is precise because all the, the shots are grouped very closely together but it's not in the center, so we can't say that it's accurate. Uh, B, B uh, we have all the, the, the shots grouped closely together in the center, so we have the precision still, but this time we also have, not but, but and, We also have the accuracy. And then C is neither of these. Because it's all over the place. So the question is in part B. How can we make A and C look like B? What needs to happen? So we see that for A, uh, the instructor is shooting a new rifle. And it's clear that he knows what he's doing from the precision of the shots. However, he needs to adjust to this new rifle. So he needs to, he can fix the sight on the rifle or get more used to it. And then he should be able to do uh, make A look more like B. So for A, for A uh, to look like B, the instructor needs to adjust And then for C, for C, the student needs to practice. 